In today's video, we are building a $15,000 autumn house exterior in Bloxburg. So we're gonna tour it and then get right into building. So here's our house. I really like it, honestly. I feel like it has a more realistic look to it, which is pretty nice. I love the colors together as well. I do definitely think that they look very much like autumn colors. <laughs> the dark kind of green is so pretty. So I just really like that look. And of course we have pumpkins, of course. Come on, we need our pumpkins. It is September, so I think it's time. I feel like you all can agree with me. I think it's time for the pumpkins. Doesn't like every store have like Halloween and fall decorations out? I'm pretty sure. And like Starbucks, they have like the pumpkin lattes and everything. So yeah, I think it's time. So I do like this house. It was really fun to make. It's two stories, obviously. <laughs> It'll have like multiple bedrooms and bathrooms. I didn't make an interior because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to or not. I want to wait for what you guys think. So you guys let me know if we should make an interior. I do think the living room will be really cool. I have a cool design in mind. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see an interior. And if so, I will link it in the description below as well as the comments so check back here to see if the link is posted and yeah we're gonna get right into building so i hope you all enjoy let's get started okay so this is the layout this is the third floor it's just like a square don't worry we'll get to that later it won't be hard these are the main floors so this is the second floor and this is the first floor so let's place the walls down we're gonna start five squares back and we're placing three walls across we're gonna color these walls mid gray with the horizontal planks material i want to color the interior wall walls mid gray as well so we're gonna copy that wall and we're just going to place it around because we're not gonna recolor it or anything so we're gonna go one square back and then two over to the right and then one square back and then we're gonna go over four to the right and then back three to the left two and then two four back and then two four six eight ten across and then two down towards us one to the left two down two to the left three down four to the right, one down, and then two to the right, and then one back down to where we started. So like that. Okay, and now let's go upstairs. We're gonna use that same wall. We're starting seven squares back this time, basically one square back from the first floor wall, and then we're gonna go over two to the right, back one, over three to the right, up one, over two to the right, back three, over one, two, three, four to the right, and then back four, and then over two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 to the left, back down two, over to the left one, back down two, to the right two, and then down three, back to where we started. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there we go. That's it for the exterior walls, except for the third floor wall. We're just starting back one from this middle wall and we're just placing a square. So yeah, that's like unnecessary. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's basically just for some extra detail. So we can go back to the second floor and place the interior walls. Make sure they're colored mid gray though. Okay, so this is gonna be a bathroom and this will be a bedroom. And then this is going to be another bedroom, another bathroom, and then another bedroom. So three bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs. Downstairs, we're gonna place the stairs there i'll show you in one second this is going to be one garage and then this is going to be a bathroom so there's three bathrooms in this build this will be the kitchen area and then this is going to be the dining room and this will be the final garage i was thinking of making this a backyard comment below if you'd like to see that and the stairs i'm going to be using over here are these recessed c stairs so i was going to use the left one right over here the right one on the right side like that and the living room is going to be right here in the center i think it's going to look so cool i'll wait to place those if we work on the interior okay so now let's place the roof so we're gonna use the slanted roof and we're gonna start on the first floor of course make sure you set it to manual placement and we're gonna start six squares back and we're gonna place two to the right and then up one and then two to the left just like that and i'm gonna increase its size just once okay and now we're gonna color this roof dark stone gray with the brick material and then obviously just match it with the wall color and the ceiling color i think we're gonna go back to white with the ceiling tiles <laughs> so copy that roof and then we're gonna go to this side so it's gonna be very symmetrical we're just gonna place two to the right up one and then over to the left by two and once again raise that up once and there you go for the center right here going to just place three across and then back by three and then back over by three just like that and then we're just gonna raise it up twice like that so now we can grab the gable roof turning on manual placement and we're gonna place it over this room which is the garage and you can increase its size like a bit it's cheaper that way and then once again just recolor it the same as the rest of the roof and then you're gonna copy that roof and we're placing it on this side of course for the other garage and then once again just raise it up one two now we can go upstairs we're still using this gable 
travel roof. So basically we're gonna start at the front wall right here, go all the way back, straight back, and then we're gonna go over two, four, six, seven, and then back up to the top, and then to the left two, back one, over three, and then up one. So just like that, we're making this little design. I'm raising it up a little bit again. Oh my gosh, it's like kind of expensive. <laughs> Wait, why is it so pricey? Okay, it's fine. We got money from the update, so we're okay. All right, and then I'm gonna copy that roof once again. And then I'm gonna place it up here where this third floor wall is. This is like a weird little wall. You don't have to place this if you don't want to. I'm just placing it for like extra detail, basically. Okay, so back to the second floor, we're just gonna grab the flat roof and place it on the this wall i mean this roof oh my gosh <laughs> and then this one as well just to cover up these areas because we save money that way so okay so pretty nice so far yeah i like it all right i'm going to grab pillars i think we're gonna go with the plain pillars so obviously this is pretty easy you just color them white with the smooth plastic and just place them in each corner so yeah pretty easy this is like a nice break from building <laughs> you know what i mean it's like an intermission in a way you know because this is so easy just place these in the corner get a breather, collect yourself. <laughs> and then get ready to finish off the build. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we can place the windows. So we're gonna use these factory windows. So place one down over here. I'm gonna color it white with the smooth plastic and then I'm gonna give it like an orange glow. Then I'm gonna give it some shutters, like these classic shutters. So I'm gonna color it flint with the smooth plastic and then white with the smooth plastic. And then I'm gonna copy that window, place one here, over here, and then over here. And then I was thinking of placing two up here on this wall. And then I was gonna grab one more window, the standard window, and place that on this third floor wall, and that's it. Okay, so now let's grab a front door because we're gonna place two more windows with that door. So we're gonna use this traditional side light door. I'm coloring it white and then flint and then white and then the orange again. I love this door and I love these colors together. I feel like they're very autumn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like they're good like fall colors, I guess. So I'm using this thin clear window. We're gonna place one on each side of this door. Color it the same as the other window and then copy that over here once you've colored it so you save some money. Okay, now we gotta grab the garage door. So we're gonna use this traditional wide garage door and then just color it the same as the door, except I'm gonna give this like a different color because I don't think the orange looks good. So there you go. Place it on the right garage as well. So now let's grab a floor so we can make our way to the door, make a little like pathway, you know, walkway. Okay, so now we're gonna color this concrete and then copy that and we're gonna place it over here for the garage, the driveway, and then the this other driveway so two driveways i kind of want to outline this with like the plain short fence and then just color it white so i'm going to outline this in the driveways and i'm going to grab another floor and basically i'm going to make this kind of like like a mowed lawn kind of thing we have that texture right here the mowed grass so i'm going to color it like i guess grime and then we're going to place it on this side as well so that it looks like kind of cool it looks kind of like darker for autumn like the grass is starting to die a bit you know okay so basically now we can just decorate so i am going to be placing a bunch of pumpkins down of course like that's only fitting right so go ahead and place some pumpkins if you have them if you don't have them it's okay once the update arrives then you can start decorating you know you can build the house now get it all ready and then you can start decorating once the update is here but if you do have these items just place a bunch of pumpkins around that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> at least because yeah i like these pumpkins a lot you could also go to garden and then you could grab these leaf piles if you like i don't know if i'm gonna do that i might just place these regular like bushes around and then just color them like grime and stuff so i might place these like in the corners over here on like both sides basically and i'm also gonna probably grab this blossoming bush and place one next to this plant and then once again just recolor it but i'm going to color like the flowers an orange and then i'm gonna do the same thing on this side i think that's kind of cool a little different and then i'll probably place like a pumpkin right next to both of these just some little like garden design yeah we have a lot of pumpkins already <laughs> Okay, so I've placed a bunch of like plants and pumpkins. I didn't want to do like too much. I want the build to stand out. So we're just going to grab like these stepping stones. I'm going to color them like this light stone gray. And then we're just going to place like four. And then I was thinking of placing like a welcome mat right here. And then coloring it like cloudy gray with the cozy fabric material. And then I was going to place stepping stones for the garage as well. I like to do this a lot because it kind of like gives more detail to the build. So I was going to color it like white with bricks. I I use that combo a lot and then just place a few also i forgot that we have to place the wall trim so yeah we're gonna do that once we place these down so the wall trim we're gonna use is this crown molding right here and we're just placing that obviously on each wall including the second floor walls and the third 
floor wall. Now we can grab this like short rail molding, color it white, and then color it white again with the brick material, and then place that obviously on the walls. You don't really have to place it on the second floor walls because you can't even see it. And that's it. So I do just want to grab like an outdoor lamp. I think this one looks really nice. And then place it like right over here by the front door. And I'm going to color it just like linen. Should we place two? I feel like maybe we should. So this is what it's looking like. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. I kind of like it. So I hope you guys do as well. And please let me know if you'd like to see an interior to this build. I wasn't sure if I should make one or not. I was kind of like indecisive. I'm very indecisive. So I wasn't really sure what I was doing. <laughs> but if you guys want that, please comment below and I will get it out to you. So check back in the comments and in the description for the link. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you love this build. And I will have many more autumn builds to come because it is officially September now. So happy September. And <laughs> yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.